Question 1. What are the Google Maps APIs? Answer. The Google Maps APIs give developers several ways of embedding Google Maps into web pages or retrieving data from Google Maps and allow for either simple use or extensive customization. There are several API offerings. Web APIs. Google Maps JavaScript API. Google Static Maps API. Google Street View Image API. Google Maps Embed API. Web Service APIs. Google Maps Directions API. Google Maps Distance Matrix API, Google Maps Elevation API, Google Maps Geocoding API, Google Maps Geolocation API, Google Maps Roads API, Google Maps Time Zone API, Google Places API Web Service, Mobile APIs, Google Maps Android API, Google Places API for Android, Google Maps SDK for iOS, Google Places API for iOS. Question 2. Which API do I need? Answer. For help in finding the right API based on your functional requirements. Question 3. What is API Picker? Answer. The API Picker lists the most common things you may want to do on a map or with location-based data and suggests the API that most suits your needs. Question 4. What countries do the Google Maps apps cover? Answer. The Google Maps team is constantly pushing new map data out and increasing our international coverage. Consult the Google Maps coverage data for the latest coverage information. You can filter the data with the filter box at the top of the page. Please note that coverage data can change if licensing agreements with the data providers change. Question 5. Can I put Google Maps on my site without using the Google Maps app is answer? Yes. Google Maps now offers the ability to embed the map that you're viewing into your website or blog without any programming or use of the Google Maps APIs. Question 6. Can I generate a map image using the Google Static Maps API which I store and serve from my website? Answer. You may not store and serve copies of images generated using the Google Static Maps API from your website. All web pages that require static images must link the SRC attribute of an HTML image tag or the CSS background image attribute of an HTML div tag directly to the Google Static Maps API so that all map images are displayed within the HTML content of the web page unserved directly to end users by Google. Question 7. What information is sent to Google when I use the Maps JavaScript API? Answer. When using the Maps JavaScript API, the following information is sent to Google. Map size and location for retrieving map tiles and copyrights. Addresses for geocoding. Direction and elevation requests. Locations around which to search for places. KML when using KML layer. Question 8. Can I disable the link on the Google logo displayed on a Maps JavaScript API map? Answer. If you are using a client ID with a Google Maps API's premium plan license, you can use the following option to remove the link from the Google logo shown on the map. You must limit usage of this option to cases where the logo link creates a negative user experience. An example is a mobile app featuring a full screen view where clicking on the logo takes the user away from the original content of the app with no way to go back back, you must ensure that the logo and copyright notice aren't hidden or covered up. Map.set options passive logo true. The logo remains visible but is not clickable. This option is available by default to all premium plan customers using a client ID. Question 9. Should I purchase the Google Maps APIs Premium Plan? Answer. You should purchase the Google Maps APIs Premium Plan if your business or organization requires any of the following. An SLA with 24-hour technical support. Ability to sell a product or service with embedded Google Maps. Ability to use Google Maps APIs for an internal application or website. A specific amount of quota. Ability to use Google Maps APIs excluding the places API for asset tracking applications. Premium plan features available with your existing Maps APIs for work license. Question 10. Why do the Google Maps APIs geocoders provide different locations than Google Maps? Answer. The API geocoder and Google Maps geocoder sometimes use different data sets depending on the country. The API geocoder occasionally gets updated with new data, so you can expect to see results changing or improving over time.